Your name and date of birth, sir? Michael Driscoll, 112970. Michael Driscoll kept quiet at his first court hearing this week. Today we learned his arrest was the result of an investigation that lasted several months with even the FBI joining in. Court papers say he's charged with an incident that happened all the way back in September. According to authorities, the sexual assault happened after a family wake with a woman who was not a family member or a student. Court documents say Driscoll gave the 19-year-old alcohol and soon she fell asleep. When she woke, she told police Driscoll was sexually assaulting her. Months later, a grand jury chose to indict Driscoll and this week he was arrested after finishing up a school day. The arrest sent shockwaves through Irving Elementary, including among parents whose children had been in Driscoll's class. For me, it's very, very surprised. And my kids all the time, they express good things about him. Two days after his arrest, Driscoll still in jail tonight. He will be back in court next week. And in court documents, Driscoll did tell police, police say that he insisted he was drunk at the time of the alleged incident. According to authorities, he said he did not remember acting inappropriately. In the studio tonight, Ryan Simps, Arizona's family.